कृष्ण से भगवदगीता यदा यदा हि धर्म से ग्लानिर्भवति वार्ता अभ्युत्थान धर्म से तदात्मा सृजा हम परित्राणाय साधूना विनाशाय दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापना था यह संभव युगे युगे वेन एवर धर्म विल बी ऑन डिक्लाइन देर विल बी मेनी बैड पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड आई विल कम टू डिस्ट्रॉय देम किल देम एंड हेल्प सपोर्ट माय डेवोटीज एंड दोज हु आर रनिंग इन द पाथ ऑफ धर्म विष्णु इज वेरी ग्रेशियस एंड वेरी जेनरस द ऑल द स्टोरीज अबाउट विष्णु आर फोकस्ड एट focus to make the devotee realize the grace of vishnu even the philosophy behind gajendra moksha is that when vishnu listens to even animals when they ask for his help with their complete heart how can they not listen to us is the secret hidden meaning of gajendra moksha as told by those who knew about dharma so in horoscope that indicates all the past life karma how can we see the blessings of vishnu all of us born as human are fortunate people we have done some really good karma that's why we are born as humans where we have the ability for spiritual awakening and realizing the meaning of life and directing ourselves and our lives our thought our mind towards god and attain the ultimate salvation to do this there is nothing better than astrology using which you can understand your past life karma the result that it is giving to you in this life how it is manifesting when it will manifest and what you can do to detach yourself from the result of the karma and ease your suffering because god being our supreme father as you know quran says that god being very merciful it is also in hinduism it is in every religion christianity judaism every religion that god is merciful and to help their devotees and those who remember god god is responsible to save them from this world to save them from miseries to save them from it how do you see this saving in horoscope is what i am going to talk about today this saving is seen with respect to achhadan achhadan is the umbrella of vaman vaman is an incarnation of vishnu in this incarnation vishnu plays a trick with bali to save gods to save his devotees to save his followers to do the good and to do the best of his devotees vishnu can go to any extent even if it is playing a little trickery this is all to save their devotees save his devotees sorry in the horoscope this saving grace of vishnu is seen with respect to achhadan whichever planet whichever house comes under achhadan is like coming under the umbrella of vaman if you have seen the image of vaman vaman is a brahmin incarnation of vishnu who don't have much height shortened brahmin incarnation of vishnu who holds an umbrella and whatever comes under this umbrella of vishnu gets protected by maya and maya separate and other evils etc of this life this is seen with respect to achhadan there are only few planets who have achhadan it is only saturn ketu jupiter and venus who have achhadan this is a type of aspect special aspect achhadan is like hiding something you say a mother you see a mother hides her child in her lap and covers him with whatever clothes she have with her whatever clothes she is wearing right so generally she will wear a sari put her child in the lap and cover the child with the sari this is what is achhadan 
Vishnu taking care of you like a baby. When these planets are powerful, when Venus is powerful, that means exalted Venus in Pisces, own Rashi Venus in Taurus Libra, or Virgottam Venus, or even you can take retrograde Venus, have a Chadan on 8th house from its placement. This Achadhan is like aspect. So you can say a powerful Venus also aspects the 8th house from its position other than the natural normal 7th aspect. Jupiter, when powerful, own sign in Sagittarius Pisces exalted in Cancer or retrograde, puts this Achadhan aspect on 3rd house and 11th house from its placement. From his placement. Saturn, when powerful, Exalted in Libra, own Rashi in Capricorn Aquarius, or Vargottam or Retrograde, puts this Achadan on the second house and twelfth house from his placement. Same goes with Ketu. When Ketu is Vargottam, because Ketu is always retrograde. Exaltation, etc., other positions of Ketu, though I take exaltation, etc., for Ketu also, but for that I will go the long approach of finding the result of which planet Ketu is giving. Right. So my students are well aware of it and those who follow, those who have seen my videos on, there was one video titled My Greatest Research Related to Rahu Ketu in this Jagannath Hora video series where I have discussed about it. So either you can use that formula and find a powerful Ketu or normally you can take that. If Ketu is Vargottam, then it is powerful and in that particular scenario, Ketu also have a Chadan aspect on 2nd house and 12th house from its placement. So basically what happens when this Achadhan is happening, that will only happen when these planets are powerful. This Achadhan aspect of this planet will be able to cast only when they are powerful. In normal condition, they cannot put this Achadhan aspect. In weak condition also, they cannot put this Achadhan aspect. But when these planets are powerful, then they put this Achadhan aspect and they protect the house which comes under their Achadhan aspect protect the planets which come under their Achadhan aspect. This is what Vishnu will protect for you. If you become his devote, if you are a good person, because Paritra Anayat Sadhu Naam, he saves good people. Those who stand for Dharma, those who live a Sattvic life. So if you follow Dharma, if you live a Sattvic life, and you are devotee of Vishnu, you are remembering Vishnu, that basically means you are spiritual and devotee. Then in that particular scenario, these houses, provided the fact that these planets are powerful, are protected. Whatever is in this house is also protected. This is the particular reason Venus is taken as very good in the 12th house. This is an exceptional rule. Planets in 12th house should be considered bad, but Venus is taken as very good. Because if Venus becomes powerful in the 12th house, he will have a Chadan aspect on 7th house. No planet can be good in any house if it is weak. Right? That's a very basic Jyotis understanding. So Venus in the 12th house, when it is powerful, will put a Chadan aspect on the 7th house. And in this scenario, if one follows Dharma, if one is devoted to Vishnu, if one is a religious person, his marriage is taken care by Vishnu. That basically means he will be saved in the matters of marriage. Even if there is a bad match making, somehow the marriage does not sustain. Even in that scenario, because of blessings of Vishnu, the marital bliss will continue. Either through second marriage or miraculously remedies. Right? This is point number one. Protection of these houses, a complete annihilation related to these houses never happen. So you see if the seventh house is protected, then even in the worst case scenario of a very bad matchmaking and marriage at a very bad muhurta and other bad combinations concerning the seventh house, even in that particular scenario, Vishnu makes sure that you keep on enjoying marriage, be it through second marriage also. Right? But he ensures that the enjoyment is there and the misery is not for a lifetime. In such cases, one is for sure to enjoy the bliss. Right? 
without any doubt. This is the prime uses of achada of any planet. Another thing, the second thing that I have noticed is in many horoscopes, what generally happens is, for example, in a particular horoscope, Jupiter is not influencing the ascendant. But still you see that the effect of Jupiter in ascendant, whatever the effect of Jupiter in ascendant should be, person being religious, following the path of dharma, having good health, having ethics and morals and all of these things are there. Which compels us to think that Jupiter should be influencing the ascendant, but it is not influencing. In that particular scenario, what you will find that Jupiter is either in the third house or the eleventh house and is powerful also. By in this particular situation, Jupiter is actually having a chadan aspect on ascendant, which is akin to Jupiter influencing the ascendant, but it is not known because this knowledge of achadan is hidden. So this is a type of a secret aspect also. So the difference is the planet always have a chadan. These planets, Venus on the 8th house, Jupiter on the 3rd and 11th house, Saturn and Ketu on the 2nd and the 12th house, they always have a chadan. That means these planets are always connected to these houses. Jupiter is always connected to the planet on the 3rd house and 11th house from its placement. Right? This is secret in prediction and without considering it, many things in many horoscopes cannot be explained. I have been teaching it to my students since starting 2018-2019 and they have been using it and have found very good results. Many students have told that by using this they are able to simply understand what was otherwise very difficult. So this achadan aspect is always there but the point with but the first point is the point with these planets being powerful is that when these planets are powerful this achadan is not merely a relationship, but it also becomes a saving grace. In the matters of Prashna also, this saving grace, you have to see with respect to, for example, if someone have gone somewhere and you are concerned about his safety, or if some money is invested and you are concerned about the safety of the money, then this achadan does indicate safety also. In natal horoscope, it indicates blessing. It indicates the areas where the good karma is coming into effect. It does indicate that no matter how much suffering is there related to this particular house or this particular planet, whoever is coming under a chadan aspect, but there are some serious major good karmas that you have committed in previous life. And because of those good karmas, you are sure to enjoy bliss related to this life. And this enjoyment of bliss with happiness will happen with the activation of the Shantar Dasha of these planets who is creating the protective Achadan aspect over the house promising the good result. So it is the virtue of the person. It is the virtue of the person which will unfold in this life for sure. And once you identify it, the path to being more prosperous, more happy, more satisfied and more contented in life will become very easy. Because then you just have to identify the planet who is putting the chadan and have to activate more and more of his qualities. For example, if Jupiter is giving a chadan, then being religious, having a proper religious practice, right, worshipping God, visiting temples frequently, supporting a priest or a temple by constant donations, following the path of dharma and doing religious service will activate it. When Venus is giving a chadan, then respecting woman, propagating peace, harmony to the world, standing for the people of your caste and clan, supporting army personnel will activate the blessings of Venus. The blessings of Saturn will be activated by helping those who are financially, physically, socially weaker. And loving even those people who are far inferior to you in any way, either in social status, monetary status or any type of status. Whereas the Chadan of Ketu is activated by being detached from the world. And as Ketu indicates falling down, 
the chadan of ketu is also activated by helping people gain something that they have lost either you help them gain it by giving them money or giving them guidance or anything but helping people gain things will activate the achadan of ketu along with this if this cannot be done the mantra of these planets donation related to these planets etc can also be done to activate their achadan aspect which will prove to be biggest blessing in your life and once this achadan is activated miseries related to that particular house where this achadan is falling will be almost vanished but for the complete vanish for the complete vanishing of the bad result one need to continue the remedies for 4 5 years right this is a very cute concept wanted to teach it to you this principle and many such principles which are related to the science of karma indicating what type of astrological combination indicates what type of dharma karma what type of karma done in the previous life and how it will manifest in this life at which time it will manifest how it can be remedied how the bad karma can be alleviated how the good karma can be made more strong i will be teaching in my forthcoming karma vikyan course that is going to be held for 6 days back to back from 13th of march 2023 onwards those who are interested in seriously learning astrology and learning the science of karma should join the course for sure it is one and only type of a course right and even those who are beginners in astrology can also join it because the knowledge will be taught from complete basic and scratch